So uh, we've been trying to create uh, vaccines against drugs of abuse for almost 25 years now. We've looked at a number of different vaccines from cocaine to nicotine to methamphetamine. Uh, very recently we've gotten involved in looking at heroin. And part of the reason for us looking at heroin is because, uh, as you know, there's a, been an increase recently in HIV. And one of the main causes of uh, the increase in HIV is, is due to intravenous uh, drug users. And uh, this is due to uh, heroin. Obviously, uh, there are uh, alternatives that uh, uh, people who are addicted to heroin can take, such as methadone clinics. But uh, we really see a boom for this vaccine in third world countries where such therapy is not available. Uh, the real problem that to be solved is, is trying to create <clears throat> high titers against the drug of abuse. So small molecules are not immunogenic. Our immune systems do not recognize them as foreign. So we had to train the immune system to recognize heroin as being foreign. Furthermore, we had to train the immune system such that we got a very high response to the particular drug of abuse. So over the past 20 some years, many groups have shown they can make vaccines against drugs of abuse. However, the failure comes in in not being able to make very high titers. So in other words, the, the antibodies that put soldiers that are going to attack the drug of abuse, they're not in high enough number. And if you don't have that, it's not going to work. There are a couple things special about our result. Um, the main thing is that um, the vaccine created extremely high titers, so an immune response that we've not seen with other drugs of abuse. We have some ideas why, but they're just hypotheses right now. But for the simple um, scenario, it worked incredibly well. So that when animals were challenged with heroin, they basically didn't even see it. Uh, the next thing that we found was very important is because heroin is an opioid and there's a lot of different opioids that are used both abused and used uh, for medical purposes, we wanted to have a very specific vaccine. And what we found is that this vaccine is very exquisite for heroin and morphine and 6-acetylmorphine. It doesn't hit the off targets such as oxycodone and things like that. Well, I think the study is critical in that it shows it, it actually highlights the, the, uh, some key essential features the Scripps Research Institute has. And so what it does is it, it shows we're able to bring such things as chemistry, immunology, and uh, uh, neuropharmacology together in a scenario such that we can tackle these problems that you couldn't do at a, at a uh, typical uh, university or other institute.